Hello, hello people, this is Slightly Mad 79. Also, call myself Captain Roberts due to games I've been playing, sort of role playing a pirate. Um, this is Tempest. Uh, it's a game that's just been released today. It's incredibly noisy. Um, this is a tutorial, I've just started the game. In this video, it's going to be a review on how the game plays, what it's about, what I can figure out, and this is the first play. So, this is my true emotions and true feelings towards this game and along with the uh, crashes into rocks etc as I get used to it. Okay what I appear to have figured out is we've got different modes down here to increase your reload time but to also increase your accuracy. We've got the uh, target reticle um, right here in blue where you can target the uh, enemy ships and you've got a fire between. I think space bars fire or it seems to fire automatically I don't know which. Fire, guys! So far what it appears to be is we've got a sort of diary type game. The date floats by, you pick up various quests like this, it tells you to go to the next uh, area. By accident I kind of um, did this on the map and uh, didn't realise that my ship was going to go all over the place. <laughs> there be a pirate, yar. Okay, this seems fairly awesome. You've got different sailors. You've got the people on the mast, sails, crew, gunners. And you can drag them to this area here to train them for extra XP, which will give you buffs. As you can see, efficiency, seven, strength. Strength hull. Brilliant. All right. This is a pirate raid. I'm a pirate, so I'm going to help the attackers. Yar. Woo! Oh, God. That's a big ship. Sorry, boys. Turn the sand down, and it's still really noisy. Ah, perfect. Looks like my mates have been sunk. That's not good. Got that loot. The play is awfully smooth. Steering is easy enough. Firing seems fairly automatic. Might need to change that to spacebar. Give you a little bit more feel. Oh, I'm on fire. Ah! Let's get that shit. Ah. Oops. I'm such a psychopath, it's given you the reputation of a mouflon. <laughs> if you read it here, it said your opponents are scared to death when you turn the wheel towards them. You deal three times more ram damage due to the enemy panic in your experience. You hire our Captain Roberts! <laughs> Cast fear into the hearts of his enemies, boys! Okay, so you have to click on the little letter that appears when you're going to do the next quest objective, and it'll tell you a piece of information like this indicating where you need to go next but you're not bound to have to go to that location you can squiggle away on the map and get to a different area um, so yeah, if you hold down the left mouse button I'm not going to fight them right now and um, draw your little mark on the map and it will take you to where you go next oh this looks creepy it's like the gates of Baghdad but scarier Ooh. 
Yeah, so you got to literally click on the enemy ship to start the targeting. Line up the little blue crosshairs like this. Whoop. When I'm not flying past at 50 knots. There we go. Get a shot off, but it was blocked by the uh, stone. Chance of underground. I tell you, that 50% sound, but it's still bloody loud. I get told off for of shouting in my house in a minute. That was kind of like a bullet time that happens. It puts you through the eyes of the cannon, which is pretty cool. It does interrupt things a little bit, but... Oh, I've got a bit of a small arms fire from ship to ship there. Come on. Right, they're on fire. Oops, empty. That's not good. Nor's that. I'm on fire again. Ah, oh, depends what's wax. Oh shit! <laughs> I got this. Oh no! Sunk again. I'm hoping this wreck has got cannonballs on it. Otherwise, I'm buggered. Oh, look at that. Good, good, good. Let's get him. It's gonna be sheer luck if I complete this encounter. My cells are buggered. I've got 18 rounds left. It's not looking good. Stay out of his broadside now. Some of this. And that. Shit. Still in the game. Just. <laughs> Ten rounds left. I did I'm just gonna ram him. I've got no other option. I no no bullets left. No rounds. <laughs> right, we've got nothing. Okay, it's ram time. Full of steam surge, Karen. Let's ram those scallywags out to sea. Yeah. For Davy Jones. Let's hope this works. Stay out the board side. Then ram. Boom. No, no, I screwed it. Oh, just survived two forward sides. No, 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 no! Alright, let's ram again. <sighs> Kevin like Beckham. did it! We did it! Okay, it's next bit of the quest. I've got to go and find another member of my crew. Well, I did have 700 gold and now I've got 362. That hurt. I might have to hunt some pirates, even though I'm a pirate myself. Because I need that XP and I need that cash. Let's not forget, people. This game is £8. £8? What can you get for £8? Hmm. You can get a beer. Two beers. One beer. Pick it a cigarette. Just a packet of cigarettes. You can go and watch a film at a cinema. And I think this game should give you a fair amount of fun for that eight pounds. Graphics look good. I've got a crappy on Radeon card. You know, um, I'm having a lot of issues with the games, especially early access games with graphics tearing, glitching, pixelation. It's the first time I've played this. I've got no issues with it so far. So it handles well. It's smooth. Seems a lot of fun. Well, let's carry on. <laughs> that was like a point blank broadside. Line them up. Fire, boys!
Oh, and as well as pirate ships, we've got pirate forts. Oh my god. Oh, shit! That was almost 3D. Shit! Or something. <laughs> oh, one more rip, one more rip. That's going down. Let's get out of there, Art. There we go. Victory. Awesome. Explosions. If you like explosions, if you like noise, this is the game for you. It's more action than tactical, but it's a, a lot of fun. That's only eight pound. But now uh, cannonballs again. We're gonna have to ram him. Come here, boy. <laughs> no, no. Right, right, right. How about you? Feel the might of Captain Roberts bearing down on you. Oh, yes! <laughs> it's two kills by ramen. Oh, he's still alive! What? I have no cannons left. Let's go and ram him again, boys. It's only a complete miracle that's going to win me the day here. This is a handbrake turn in the water. Oh! That's how you run it. Some people were having issues over buying things um, on the forums. I haven't got an issue at all. You select what you want to buy. Different types around. Then you just change this little meat here until the gold is matching what you got up there. There you go, job done. Something with a strange blue glow over there. It's like some pirate ship base or something. Yeah. Let's take it down. Oh, that's creepy. Yep, it's a pirate base, alright. Big pirate raid, I'm helping the defenders. More noise, more explosions. <laughs> it's pretty cool, it analyzes how you fight. I've been given sharp sides at Hawk. And if you see here, accuracy of long range attacks plus 30. That's great. So, so I'm also a rammer <laughs> and a hawker. Level is loaded with uh, secret loot knocking about everywhere. So whilst taking these guys on, I'm going around scavenging all the gold. Oop. Someone's gonna die. Thought fantastic. As you can see, I've been on for a little bit. Um, probably about an hour now. I've got a nice um, giant goat head on the front of my ship. Changed the sail colour. So there's customization options there, which is fun. We all like customization. Oh god, it's a big daddy ship. Ah, my balls have gone. My rusty balls have gone. Go get him, boys. No, don't run me. <laughs> In effect, this is more of an action game. Um, 
thrusts you straight into the action. Um, there's a lot to be had. It's definitely worth eight pounds. The map's not huge, but the devs are saying they're going to work on multiplayer in the future, so it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. And I'd really like to see them uh, go into more of an open world feel for the game. 